whether it be in real estate, whatever it is that you're in, like you have yeah. to know that you know that you know so that you can go to the people that know yeah. and tell them you don't know what the hell you're talking about. The power of education, being hungry, doing due diligence literally made you a million dollars. Yeah. This professional guy that you guys hired to do an appraisal on your property, this is like big time stuff, right? Yeah. You were educated enough. Yeah. And in return, since you were educated, you were confident enough with your due diligence and the foundation that you had to challenge what this professional was saying. Yeah. And he turned out to be wrong and you benefited from it greatly yeah. from that mm -hmm. like yeah. in and of itself. Yeah. That's that's so strong right there. I want I want people to really hear that because like like and, and I, I keep belaboring it is because you did so much work behind the scenes and it paid off literally for you. Yeah, my wife will tell you about that because she was yeah. watching it happen. Yeah, as it was and she was like, "Oh my god, he's manic right now." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep. I was up to like three in the morning right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to make sure that I had all of that stuff. Yeah, in line, I, and I couldn't stop thinking about it until I got it done because I knew that I was right in this deal. I had never, See, I didn't know that you could challenge an appraisal. I yeah. just knew that I had to in this situation. You, knew you were right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had the education, and I knew that Come on. what he was doing was not correct. Right. I didn't know if the bank would change anything, but I was like, listen, this is why I think you should. Right. So I, it wasn't just, I wasn't pitching a fit with them. I was mm -hmm. just like, hey, here's the, the facts. Here's the numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our vacancy rate, our actual vacancy mm -hmm. rate. Not you just made up 25% as a vacancy rate when it was like seven. Yeah. Um, and he made up a cap rate. He put 25% as a cap rate. For and the, the cap rate was 9%. Yeah. So we sold at 9% and he put 25. So like, oh even in his gosh. redo, he put like, 15 or 16 which is still high but i was like whatever it's enough yeah. we don't need to fight it anymore yeah it's and i told the bank i was like i think it's worth more i think we could probably get more than this but i'm okay with this as long as y'all are okay with doing the loan at yeah. 1.7 because that's what we wanted yeah yeah and they were like yeah it's fine we don't need to do anything